Stephanie Corger may be new to horse racing, but she is already showing that she has what it takes to win. It is an absolute exhilarating rush. I mean, there's no feeling like it. When those gates open, I mean, it's, there's nothing else in the world that you can compare to it. Stephanie Corger is the top apprentice rider at the Pimlico Racetrack in Maryland. Pimlico is famous for the Preakness, a race held each spring. On this day, she won two races. In the first, she and her horse took the lead early. She actually worked really good today. She did everything I asked her to win. Very cooperative for the win. Dean Kobiski trains horses. Stephanie as a rider, uh, to me, is just very smooth rider. Sarah Rook is also an apprentice. Today, she was competing in her first professional race. That was extremely exciting. She knew she would get the same welcome that all first-time racers get, whether they win or lose. But all she could talk about was her horse. She just went right through and kept going. She relaxed, she was perfect. Getting to the top is not easy. There are some trainers who won't ride you specifically because you're a girl. And the only thing you can really do is go out there and be determined and prove to them that you're just as good as any other guy out there. Jonathan Joyce is a jockey who says women have more to prove. I think they just have to overcome a lot as far as, you know, trainers and competitiveness between the guys and trying to be accepted in, this, in the game that's been so, so much known as a man's sport for so long. Jockeys have to work their way up. We race four days a week, Thursday through Sunday and we get on the horses in the morning and we work on make sure they're fit and exercise and we do that for free and in exchange we get to ride the horses in a race. Last year, Corger broke her shoulder when she fell off a horse during a race. It's a very physically demanding job. I mean, jockeys are some of the most fit athletes in the world um, and at the same time it's also a really dangerous sport. Forrest Bryce was one of the top apprentice riders in the United States last year. Now, she races horses for a living. Most of the time, you know, when they're supposed to win, they don't, and when they aren't, they do. You just try to give the trainer the best uh, advice you can, after, like the way you feel about the horse after the race. Gina Clay loves horse racing and wanted a picture with Boyce. And I saw her, and I, she just she kind of hung in there with all the big boys, you know, and I thought it was great. The only woman to race in the Kentucky Derby this year was Rosie Naprovnik. Stephanie Corger says Naprovnik is a model for her. It's really exciting. It's definitely going to open up a lot of doors for female riders, I think. Like other women riders, Corger wants to be in the big races including the Kentucky Derby. I'm Christopher Cruz.